Shirley is program director of this great organization. You have your hands full with some really fun stuff. Tell me a little bit about the center here. Well, the Cache Valley Volunteer Center is just becoming revived after several years of not being here, and we, we are just very thrilled to have it back. Our goal is to connect the volunteers with the organizations that need volunteers, to connect the organizations with the volunteers, and to really promote volunteerism in the community. We have wonderful citizens that want to get involved, they want, they, they have the, the time, and the, or I should say they make the time, they really want to do good in the community, our goal is to make it easy for them to get connected. Well, and that's such a wonderful cause, and you're right, we are a community of service. We love to give and receive service is a good thing, and yet I didn't know there was a center, and I'm glad you're reviving this for us. And so businesses, organizations, people in general can contact you and either ask for a volunteer or say, I want to volunteer, correct? Yes, absolutely. Probably the most convenient way to get connected is on the website. We do live in a day and age where the internet is phenomenal. There are so many wonderful ways to use it. We, we do have a website that's cashvalleyvolunteer.info. And if, if people want to just go to that website, there is a, a place there where we have the organizations. Right now we're working with all of the different organizations, businesses, whoever it is out there that needs volunteers. There, there's a place that they can list their opportunities. Well, let's show that website a little bit because okay. e it's very user friendly and wonderful information on it. Okay, so here is the website and an individual can come You'll see here that we've got like even Eagle Scout projects. This is one of the one of the links that that one of the individuals, Doug Stevenson of United Way, um, that has, was really key in getting the Volunteer Center back up and running. Is really excited about this project. We get calls all the time about you know young men who are working to get their Eagle Scout and they they need a project and they'll say, Hey, do you have any ideas? Do you know what's going on? Well, now we can say yes, we do. Very good. <laughs> you can jump right on here. Um, you know, click on the Eagle. Scout projects and any of the the different organizations have been invited. We've provided them with what those qualifications are um, mm -hmm. for a project, and then they can post that. So a young man um, looking for an Eagle Scout project has a really great way to easily get connected. And then you've got the large group projects as well to take it on to a larger effort, maybe by adults or again children. Yeah, absolutely. We have lots of groups that you know we'll be looking for, whether they're church groups or university groups or you know businesses. If you've got a group that's looking for a service project, you can pop on and look at the large group projects. We have the the individuals, obviously, that oft oftentimes are are looking at for um, opportunities. So we have the one-time opportunities or we also have the ongoing. Mm -hmm. So if they're looking for something that they want to, um, in fact I'm just gonna click, click there so that we can kind of see how this works. But it will, it goes in and it will list those opportunities. And again, there are, there are two things that we need here for the public to get involved with. We need the businesses, the organizations, the people who need volunteers we need them to come to the website and list their opportunities so that they're on there. Well, I had scrolled through a little bit and there are several businesses listed. There are ongoing opportunities listed of people that are needing help. Ab absolutely, yes. And, and we invite everyone to, to get listed here. As you can see here now, see an individual can, can pop on here and can see some of the different opportunities and go through and say, oh, you know, that would interest me. You know, that one, maybe maybe not. Well, I love that. And then the organizations, in fact, let's come back over here where they can see this bulletin board. And uh, it just shows some of the fun things. But it's a great place for the organizations to come to and look for me if I'm willing to volunteer, right? Because I can post my information. Absolutely. There's another link there for individuals and or groups to register as a volunteer so that, like you said, the organizations, when they have something coming up, they can go through and find a group or an individual whose time frame works for them. Okay, and those are for events that might be coming up and then also ongoing, which is great. And I noticed some pictures of the special needs kids and things like that, which is dear to my heart. And I suppose you have background checks on people that are volunteering? Absolutely, and of course that is, you know, by the organization, each organization would have their own policy regarding that, but every organization that I am aware of, if they have, they're working with special needs or with children, they're requiring background checks. Isn't that wonderful? And I know you're also focusing some area 
to high school students to help with scholarships. Yes, this is a program that I'm actually really excited about in working with the schools and getting, we have, we have wonderful students who are already doing a lot of service and we'd like to encourage other students to get involved as well. So we would like to develop a program where the students can actually earn a service medallion um, at graduation that they would then, you know, have that service medallion, kind of like you've got the athletic medallion and so forth, and then also scholarships where they, they would have an opportunity, we'd be able to give out several scholarships. But like I said, you have your hands full with some really good work right here, and you're located in the Bragg office, which is on Main Street, right next to Burger King, just mm -hmm. a little south. Yes, they've been wonderful in donating this beautiful office. And as of January, um, we are working towards getting someone here on a regular basis. Right now, um, we're available on the website. We do have a phone number. Um, well, check, tell me the website again, the phone number. The, the website is cashvalleyvolunteer.info. Okay. You know? And actually, that's incorrect. <laughs> I just realized that was so. It's Cash Volunteer Center dot info and the phone number is 435-554-8270. Okay, check them out on the website and get in here and get volunteering. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs>